It's Thursday again. I've been playing the last day or so with, with a word is something I quite often do. The word this time is boredom. I'm hearing people talk about the boredom of being, you know, kept from as much social interaction as they once were, or the boredom of not having, you know, regular in-office work or in-factory work. And people are bored. They're experiencing boredom. And someone asked me this past week, "How's your, how, how bored are you? You, you bored yet? And um, I really can't say that I have been, but I looked up the word boredom. Just to, just to see what the meaning was. And interesting, this is from Merriam-Webster. Boredom is the state of being weary and restless through lack of interest. Interesting. Um, it's interesting to me because it's not the state of being weary and restless through lack of interesting stuff going on. It's defined as weary and restless through lack of interest. That puts it in a whole different place for me. I, it would just mean that I no longer find things interesting. And the example they get, the boredom of a long car trip. In a long car trip, you're moving through new territory, the, the scenery is changing, the, the um, landscape, the cities, the roadways. There's a lot to be interested in, except there's a lack of interest. So I suppose there would be two ways to um, try to offset boredom, try to get past it to make things you know, a little bit less boring. One way would be to um, try to find more things that would stimulate you, more outside stuff, more changes of scenery, more people around that are very interesting to keep me interested. But the other way is to pay more attention, to, to be attentive to things, to, to notice textures, to notice things going on. Uh, my wife and I took a walk again this morning around our Laguna Woods area. Pretty much the same route we've taken several times before, but just paying, in, paying attention to things, like the flowers that were blooming in a fresh way, or roses that have really come into their own this time toward the end of June, or to notice the crows up in the trees early in the morning and two trees and even imagining that, you know, they're, they're making their assignments for the day, who's going to take which cars and all that kind of thing, and they were talking back and forth. Lots of things as long as I'm paying attention. How could I be bored with that unless I'm just looking straight ahead and one of the best ways, the most common ways for me to not pay attention is to live in the future or live in the past rather than simply living in the present and noticing what's going on. Or in the condo here, to, to be bored, which means that would mean I'm just not paying attention to things, maybe paying attention to the internal part. And I thought about how interesting it would be to say, you know, I'm bored. I am so bored. Oh, that's interesting. What does that mean that I'm bored? What, what does the word mean? How, how do I work with that? And all of a sudden, boredom goes away because I'm interested in boredom. It's a self-solving way of approaching it. So um, next time you think about maybe I'm bored. And I understand some people have less stimulus around them. I think about people who might be in nursing homes or in, in the hospital or shut into a very small area. It might be more of a challenge for them to, to find things to be interested in. But I'm also reminded of a, an experience I had decades ago that has really stuck with me. And that is I, I visited someone in a nursing home, her name, Mary Gee. And I went into her her nursing home room, and she was facing away from me in the fetal position, couldn't get up, couldn't move much, and so on. And I walked in the door, and, and she immediately said, hey, you, you Pastor Terry? I said, yep. She says, get around here. So, yes, ma'am. I walked around, and I looked into the most beautiful smile, bright eyes, and so on. And I sat down and talked with her for a while. And it was amazing. You think anybody 
living in that situation would be bored. And she was just full of life and eager for every day because every day people come in and they tell me their stories and, and I can look out the window if I look a little sideways here and I can see birds going and I can see the seasons changing slowly on. So Mary, who was a retired missionary, who had been all over the place, confined to that small room, not even be able to turn over herself, finding life so interesting, so fascinating. That stuck with me. I'm thinking, if, if I'm bored where I am, what does that say about me more than my circumstances? So the next time you feel bored, or the next time, time somebody asks you whether you're experiencing a lot of boredom, think about paying attention, showing interest to. Every day is new. There are new things. There are new scenes, new things going on inside. So I'd encourage you to maybe even find it interesting that you're bored. bored. And with that, according to Merriam-Webster, your boredom cannot survive. So I hope you have an interesting week, one with um, no boredom. Talk to you next week.